Greenlight Hot Pursuit Series 31, the latest release at this time of filming, September 2019. Release number 32 is just around the corner, so if you've missed this set or any of the cars in this set appeal to you, be sure to pick them up as soon as you can because they will soon be gone. We're going to get all of these cars out of their packages for a full review of this six car set. Greenlight's Hot Pursuit series has been around for quite some time. No new castings in this uh, series of six vehicles, but we've got some awesome new paint jobs. Here we've got the 1978 Dodge Monaco. We're going to see all these cars a whole lot clearer once they're outside of these packages. The package is pretty standard. All the vehicles have the same generic background on the front and the back. Collect the whole series. There's all the vehicles you can see and you can pause on that in case I'm moving too quickly. But we're going to get these out, so no point doing that, really. Next up, we've got the 1965 Ford Custom Ohio State Highway Patrol. This is a two-door. Always cool to see. And taking one close look at each of these cars before we open them up. The 1977 Pontiac Le Mans. Probably my favorite car in this set. Always a big fan of those big old four-door Pontiacs. Kind of an oddball for the uh, Hot Pursuit series, but always welcome, is the classic Volkswagen Beetle. And this one is the Sioux Falls Police, South Dakota. Next up, we've got a couple modern cruisers. The uh, 2010 Ford Crown Victoria Police Interceptor, Seattle Police, Washington, in a nice metallic blue. So that'll be exciting to get that opened up. And as well, finalizing the whole set is the 2011 Dodge Charger Pursuit. Memphis Police, Tennessee. Check out those awesome taillights. That's an actual plastic insert. Really realistic looking cars. Always never fails to disappoint with the Hot Pursuit series. And I am a regular purchaser of these. So let's get them all out. Have a look at them a little closer. And as you can see, lots of details in these cars once again. Five out of the six cars have an opening hood, the only one being the exception, the Volkswagen Beetle, which doesn't have any opening parts, but all the details on all these all-metal castings, just amazing. So we're going to just take a little look at all these cars for your enjoyment. Pontiac Le Mans, very nicely detailed. Uh, Le Mans Enforcer. Got the police badging, the Pontiac license plate. And that's just a really nice looking car. I always appreciate these castings. Beautiful paint job on it. Got our little man for scale here. It's a little green light racing man. So he's just hanging out there to show you the scale of these cars. All true 164 scale. Let's take a look at that Volkswagen now. Just a tiny little car. Very highly detailed though. Looks kind of funny with that cherry on top. I can't imagine that the uh, police would be able to pull over too many cars with a Volkswagen in their fleet, but perhaps something uh, useful for the the old school, uh, you know, police aware stuff, you know, go to the school, teach the kids about the cops and the cop cars, I don't know. I remember when I was in public school, they used to bring a little police car to school. And we've got the state police car, this is a really snazzy paint job for it, lots of detail once again. All the way around, license plates, nice tight fit and finish. And let's just take a look at that. These, This is probably my second favorite car in the bunch after the Le Mans. Just really like these big old uh, four-door cars. Dodge Monaco. Certainly seen lots of Monacos from Greenlight. And here's an older casting from Greenlight. This one still has the fat tires on it. There's the engine. But you can see the difference in the tire scale over the years from Greenlight. Uh, Greenlight has gone more to the scale tires on their newer models but some of the older models that still kick around the older castings still have those fat tires on them that are more reminiscent of the uh, kind of the Johnny Lightning heyday of collecting when a lot of cars had these big wide tires everyone was complaining it seems at the time not everyone but a lot of people were complaining about the thin tires when actually they are just scale so like I really like that the tires have gotten thinner because even though this car looks amazing it's not really quite realistic for a police car to have tires so thick on it. But it's got some nice uh, nice tampa work on it. Awesome details. That's that one. 
And here's a venerable old casting from Greenlight, another fat tire model, the Crown Victoria. Probably one of their first uh, Hot Pursuit cars ever. Detailed engine, nice fitting hood, push bar on the front, tri-color light bar on, this, on the roof, which is really cool. You can see the detailing around the back window. They've even got the black, uh, the black trim on all of the windows, the front window as well, silver on the side windows. So really quite nice. You got the true five bolt uh, wheel wheel lug nut on the the wheels themselves, and that's just a really nice looking car always. And yet another fairly uh, re-released casting, the Dodge Charger. This time with the Memphis uh, Police. Nice detailed Hemi engine push bar. This one doesn't close quite perfectly, but it's nearly there. Clear light bar on this one. Lots of details, lots of trim. Really like that tail light. Uh, they could not have done a better job at this scale on this car, I would say. I think it looks amazing. And you know, the tires, they look pretty good too. It's just they seem a bit wide for me, but that doesn't really matter. Most of the time, you're looking at these cars from the side. So there you have it. Green light, Hot Pursuit, Series 31. And Series 32 out very soon. So stick around for a review on that. Plenty more videos to come. Happy hunting.